Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Think of another common process called curdling of milk. How do we prepare milk curd from milk? Now before that, do you know that we can prepare curd from milk? I hope you must be knowing that. Now how do we prepare curd? In fact, you can try preparing curd at your home itself. So what you need to do is you take milk in a bowl add a very small amount add a very small amount of curd to this milk in the bowl and then you leave it for quite some time for a couple of hours in fact maybe you leave it undisturbed overnight and what happens the next morning you see that curd has formed so what was that magic that happened in this bowl of milk all that happened was due to the presence of small amount of curd there were some bacteria which were present in the milk and they caused some changes in the chemical composition of milk because of which it got converted to curd. So this type of process again is an example of irreversible changes because you see so many chemical processes are taking place, chemical reactions are taking place inside and therefore curd is formed and it is not possible to convert curd back into milk. So that is why we say that curdling is an irreversible change. Burning of paper. So this I had discussed in the introductory slide as well. Now when we burn the paper what happens is once the paper is burnt completely all we get is ashes. So this is again an irreversible change because from the ashes we cannot get back the paper anymore. And during this process a lot of energy is also released. So this is an example of irreversible change. Similarly, when you burn wood, in fact, burning as a process is an irreversible change. So whether you burn a paper or you burn wood, so it will all be irreversible. So when wood is burned, again, as I said, burning again is normally an irreversible change. So in this case also it is irreversible. But you know why? Because when wood is burned, what does wood contain? Wood contains carbon. So the carbon that is present in the wood, it reacts with oxygen that is present in the air. And during this process, a lot of energy is released, ash is produced, smoke is produced. So you see, this is a permanent change. So once you burn the wood, you cannot, the, that burnt ashes cannot give you the wood back. So this is an irreversible change. Burning of a candle again. Here, there are two different uh, things that are involved. So one thing is when a candle is being burnt, one thing that happens is the burning of the candle. Now when you talk only about the burning part of the candle, this is again an irreversible change. That's because during burning, uh, smoke is being produced. Um, you see new the reaction it is basically that wax reacts with oxygen which is present in the air to release energy. So this reaction cannot be reversed so that that's the burning part of the candle is irreversible but when you talk about the melting of the wax because here burning of candle is also accompanied by melting of the wax now when the wax melts why it melts because as the candle burns the temperature increases now when temperature increases what happens the solid wax gets converted to liquid wax and that's when the wax melts but that doesn't mean that the molten wax will not get converted to the solid wax again. Once the temperature is lowered, the, the molten wax will again solidify. So that way melting of wax is a reversible change. So when we talk about burning of candle, the burning of candle as a process is an irreversible change. But the melting of wax which also takes place during the process is a reversible change. Drying clothes. Now, when you wash clothes, the clo clothes are wet, they contain a lot of water and when you put them in the sun, what happens? They get dried up. So that is also a change. So the change is that the clothes which were earlier wet get converted into dry, become dry now. So that, that's the change here. So what kind of change is this? Obviously, this is reversible change because the wet clothes become dry when exposed to high temperature. Again, when they are exposed to very, very low temperature, they will again become wet. Incense sticks. While praying, you often make use of these incense sticks. So when you burn them, what happens? Smoke is produced. So what kind of change is this? Now when the incense stick completely burns, what are you left behind? You are left behind with some ashes 
at, on the ground and that's all so basically every now can, do you think that these ashes can be converted back to these incense sticks no so this is an example of again irreversible change because here also basically we burnt the incense stick so during burning what happened was there was reaction between the incense stick composition and the oxygen energy was released ashes were left behind therefore the process is irreversible thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again